Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Eugene School News. This is Michael Acampato, your anchor. Today is Friday, March 22nd. The news team has stories to share about events and activities. Here's our top story. Our Reader's Theater production of The Sneetches by Dr. Seuss was on Friday, March 1st at 1 p.m. The cast that performed in The Sneetches were fourth graders Jacqueline Boylan and Kaylee Johnson, fifth graders Edward Acampato and Tamana Swan, sixth graders Miley Dubois, and Is- Isabella Maloney and Micaiah Springer, 7th graders Micah Acampato, Annie Moore, Jeremy Murphy, and Maggie Shelton, and 8th graders Emily Moore and Nyla Sweeting. The show was directed by Mrs. McFadden and had an awesome jo- backdrop created by Miss Flurry. Sneak, sneak, did you say sneeches? Also, on also after the show, we celebrated Read Across America Day to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. We had fun, afterwards we had fun activities set up by Miss McFadden with the help of eighth graders to run the stations. Some fun activities included pin the tail on Gertrude McFuzz and can you jump with a walket in your pocket. These stations were all based on different Dr. Seuss books. It was a great and fun way to celebrate Read Across America Day. And now here's Kafina Wright. This is Kafina Wright reporting. This month, the kindergartners started working on sculptures in their art class with Ms. Flurry. They used materials like clay, clay and pipe cleaners to make some cute animals. Some of these include cute bunnies and puppies. They had a fun time making them and can't wait to do more creative and interesting projects in the future. And now here's Annie Moore. This is Annie Moore reporting. In computer class, third grade is working in groups to write scripts to record a video using the green screen. The videos will be showing an example of being a good citizen. They have started recording this week in class. They're having lots of fun. Fourth grade made videos telling about famous inventors from Pennsylvania. They had the person's photo on the green screen and they stood in front of it and told the person's story. Check out, check out YouTube for all of our latest videos. And now here's Maggie Shelton. This is Maggie Shelton reporting. Seventh grade is really busy working hard and putting their best effort in each day. In social studies, they are learning about the U.S. beginning as a country. In science, they are learning about the human body and how it is constructed. In math, they are learning about algebraic expressions and how to solve and write them. In ELA, they are finishing up their reading projects based on the book Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. And now, here's Emily Moore with sports. This is Emily Moore with sports. On Saturday, the track team have their first meet. Good luck to all of those who are running. And now here is Grace McBlain with the weather. This is Grace McBlain with the weather. Today, the sunshine mixes with clouds and it's very windy. A few more sprinkles and showers are possible. The high is 52. On Saturday, we have sunshine, but wind will still gust and it will be slightly cooler with a high of just 48. On Sunday, it looks like a generally su- sunny day with a few patchy clouds. You'll feel milder air with our high climbing to 60 degrees. Have a great weekend, and now here's Sapreet Salon. This is Sapreet Salon reporting. There has been so many respectful line tickets in our bins for over the last week. The respectful line recipients from last week are Abigail, Ryan, Leah, Burnell, Claire, Shyla, Kindren, Amelia, Lucas, Braden, Alexa, Aubrey, Burnell, John, Bra- Brandon, Fallon, Abby, Leah, Brennan, Maggie, Cadron, Batania, Jackie, Ariana, and William. The most recent drawings for the tickets was last Friday, March 15th. The winners were Madison in grade two and Micaiah in grade six. Congratulations. Now here's Fallon Jacobs. This is Fallon Jacobs reporting. Here are some upcoming events. Report cards will be sent home next week, Wednesday, March 27th. Now back to you, Michael. Birthdays will continue in the next newscast. 
This is Michael Acampato for the SES News Team. Thanks for watching. See you next time!